can see from my intro today, we're in St Catherine's Dock. There's lots to see here, lots to take photos of. Old boats, new boats, big boats, little boats, and some really interesting buildings. Let's go. My starting point today is Tower Gateway Station, and I'm immediately in one of London's most visited tourist areas, right next to the tower. The next shot was taken on Tower Bridge, but by taking three steps to the right and putting my lens through the railings, I get a much simpler, better photo. The next photos show three tall buildings stuck together from this angle, the scalpel in front, the cheese grater behind, and 22 Bishop's Gate, not yet completed, behind that. We've now arrived at the entrance to St Catherine's Dock. My challenge is to use only my Canon 5D Mark IV today and only one lens, which is my 50mm prime lens. I normally use a zoom, so this will be a bit different for me. The sky was very hazy, so you'll see some later shots, just a few of them, taken with my Canon 200D and my phone, taken when I came back the next day under a blue sky. I change the aperture a lot more when using the prime lens and the next shots of the rope details were taken at f8 for the first to show the background clearly and f2 for the second one with the background as bokeh to highlight the details in the ropes. This mural reminds us of the docks past as one of London's key ports. This part of the dock is really tidily arranged, with all the old boats on one side and the new on the other. We're now looking into the section called the Yacht Marina.
The dock opens out to the Thames now and you can see across to Butler's Wharf on the other side and to Tower Bridge. Now come on to the walkway bordering the Thames and in a minute we'll see the Thomas Doggett pleasure boat. I had always thought that Thomas Doggett was a waterman but I just did a little bit of research and he was the manager of the Drury Lane Theatre. One stormy night he was rowed back to his home in Chelsea in the 1700s and was so impressed by the boatman's skills that he started a race for young Thames watermen newly released from their apprenticeships. This race still carries on today. I've watched it and it's impressive to see the strength required to row a cargo boat on the Thames. back at Tower Bridge so I'm going to choose my favourite photos of today and they are the tower in the sunshine, the three buildings stacked together, a close-up of the Cornelia, a close-up of the Phoenician, a close-up of the Lady Daphne another boat. The Prosecco and Oyster sign because it's just so spring-like. And the one I've chosen is the close-up of the Phoenician. I hope you liked this week's video. If you did, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button to see more. I hope you have a really great week. Bye!